Which one looks more finished? This one or this one? In my opinion, frames definitely add a finished touch to prints, photos, and paintings. Today I wanted to share how you can make your own picture frame regardless of the size. If you're interested in seeing how I do it, keep watching. I made two frames that were the same size as the wall art I recently made. So I measured the width and the length of them. This came to 18 inches wide by 24 inches long. But you can make these frames as big or as small as you want. You do not have to limit yourself to what's available in the stores. I went to my local store and I purchased four of the 1x2x6 square edge white wood common boards. For these frames, I wanted it to have a 45 degree miter cut. So I'm going to use my miter saw for this. But if you don't have a miter saw, you could always get a miter box and saw, which is about $20, and do the same thing. If you're interested in seeing how to cut with a miter box and saw, just let me know in the comment section. First, I turn the miter saw to angle 45 degrees. Then I make the first cut. After I did that, I measured the wood starting from this point out 18 inches and I made a mark with my pencil. Next, I turned the miter saw to the opposite side to 45 degrees and made the second cut. Now I have made the top piece for my picture frame. I repeated the same process to make the bottom and the side pieces. To make the process go a little bit faster, I used the top piece that I just made as my template for the bottom piece. After I made my cuts, I had two pieces that were 18 inches and two that were 24 inches long. Next, I placed wood glue on the edge of each piece of wood. I connected the 18 and 24 inch piece together and stapled the back side of it. I repeated the same process until all the pieces were connected. Then I took my brad nail gun and placed a couple of nails in each corner to secure them since I didn't have any extra clamps on hand. You don't necessarily need to put nails in them if you have clamps. Just keep the ends clamped together for about 24 hours. Next I placed a little bit of wood filler on the frames to conceal the cracks and holes. Once the filler dried, I took a sponge brush and wrapped a sheet of 22 grit sandpaper around it to make it easier for me to sand the filler down until it was smooth to touch. After I finished, I wiped the dust off and then I spray painted the wood with a black matte color. And now I have two picture frames ready to be used. I hope you enjoyed this video and found the information to be helpful. Thanks guys for watching. Have a great week.